Hey everybody, this is Controller Cramps bringing you a pickups video for some of the thrift stores I've been to in the last couple weeks. Uh, it's not a huge haul. Uh, there is one game I purchased from Amazon I'll show off now. Just got this today actually. It's the only reason I'm making the video now instead of waiting until I have more games because I want to go and actually play this. Um, so yeah, I got this from Amazon today. It is uh, Trover, Trover Saves the Universe. Uh, created by Justin Roiland, who is the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Um, it's a PlayStation VR, but it also plays normally, and I think I'm just going to play it normally because VR kind of gives me a headache. But uh, I've watched some clips and um, really like the humor. Really cool, random, sort of uh, unscripted humor. Fun stuff. Looking forward to popping this in as soon as this video is over. <laughs> Then uh, I went to a, um, it was a thrift store, picked up a few games, uh, one, one PS3 and a bunch of PS2 games. I got uh, Afro Samurai, which for some reason I didn't have. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is actually a pretty decent game. It's really not that, that bad at all. Comes complete. I think, I, I think there was like a, what, a Cartoon Network show? for this. Sorry for the dog noises in the background. Uh, then we have this game, which I've never heard of. It's called Evergrace for PS2. It's kind of a, looks like an RPG. Then we have this game Orphan Scion of Sorcery. Another one I've never heard of. I buy my games complete if I can. So everything has like the manual and the disc is in really good shape. Then we have Rune, Viking Warlord. Lord. Um, I don't know, it looks kind of crappy. <laughs> third, third person sort of Viking action hack and slash kind of game, I guess. I've never heard of it. Apologize, people. So, I think I'm going to title this video, um, Holy Grail Found at Thrift Store, because uh, I went to this thrift store, there was just some random thrift store hole in the wall, and cut it out. And, uh, you know, I'm looking through the CDs and stuff, and I found a PlayStation 1 game, and I'm like, oh, cool. So it was two box, Qbert, this is not the Holy Grail. Uh, so I picked that up. Then I saw laying next to it was this God of War bottle opener. It's kind of random. It was a dollar. I, I figured, hell yeah, I'll we'll pick it up. I need a bottle opener. Then I found a bunch of sports games and stuff like that. And then laying underneath the sports games was this. Klonoa Door to Phantom Mile. So let me just tell you a story, everybody. Um... I, and this is a dollar, um, I have I've never really had a, much luck with thrift stores. I've never found anything valuable. Um, I had a really bad experience back in, say, maybe 2013, where uh, I was living in the Charlotte area, and the Goodwills in the area stopped selling video games. They, they actually, they used to ship all their games to this central sort of, it was called the computer store, Goodwill Computer Store. And um, the employees there would just look up online prices at like <clears throat> on eBay and stuff like that. And just price everything over those prices. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Common games, like common NES games they were charging like 10, 12 bucks for. I mean, it was really crazy. Um, so what happened was, I just got sick of it. I was like, well, forget it. I'm not going to even bother anymore, you know? So I stopped going. Well, a week later, the local uh, game store, uh, it's a game store called Save Point Video Games, posted a picture of a NES cart. It was the Nintendo World Championship cart. There's only a few known to exist. Um, and it's also worth about... I mean, back then it was probably worth about 15 grand, maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Now you're, it's probably 20 or more. Uh, 
Anyway, he posted the picture, and I was like, whoa, holy crap, where'd you find that? Some lady had brought it in. She found it at the Goodwill, which was about, I don't know, a mile from my house. And this is like a week after I stopped going to Goodwill. So I, I was like, you know what? I'm, I am done. I am done. So anyway, I've never found anything valuable at thrift stores or Goodwills. And by valuable, I mean over like 20 bucks. Um, this particular game is worth, God, it's, it's going to be anywhere from $150 to $200. And uh, so I saw it, and I'm like, holy shit. And there's no disc. I picked it up anyway for a dollar because, I don't know, maybe the manual in case is worth a dollar. I don't know. But I have the worst, I have the worst luck when it comes to freaking thrift stores and game hunting thrift stores. I hope to someday break the curse. Unfortunately, uh, this past week was not the time. Uh, I have still not broken the curse. But, um, yeah. Very, very unhappy about that, but it's kind of cool to have the case, I guess. Maybe I can, I can sell this at a local game store and get something, something else. So anyway, everybody, that was, uh, that's all I picked up in the last couple weeks. It's been, uh, it's been pretty hectic with the dog, and I've been, uh, commuting to work about uh, an hour and a half a day uh, each way. So it was like three hour drive. So it's been a little crazy. So I haven't had a whole lot of time. I'm also, I haven't really spent a whole lot of money on games because I'm trying to get that computer. Once I can get a computer, I can actually start making some decent videos. And uh, anyways, I appreciate everyone watching. I am Controller Cramps. Sorry for the dog noises. She's going nuts right now. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon. Bye.